What's going on guys? Uh, made it down to Moore Park in uh, California. It's part of my road trip to hang out with uh, Desiree Morgan, uh, one of my teammates from Donuts and Deadlifts and also the newest uh, coach on uh, TM Nutrition. She'll be doing uh, training and uh, diets for anybody who's interested. Uh, you can contact her at Desiree at tmnutrition.net and also be sure to check out our new website tmnutrition.net uh, went down to CrossFit Bass where she trains and got in some bench press uh, work in it's a it's a nice CrossFit gym um, doesn't have the greatest powerlifting equipment uh, it got the bench with a nice bent bar and uh, made it a little interesting but I still got the work in uh, here's Des she's in her volume phase right now getting ready for a uh, upcoming meet um, if you guys follow Des which I know a lot of you do you know that she's coming back from a pretty bad back injury so she's doing a lot of volume taking things slow and uh, she's looking really strong uh, today I believe she did four sets of eight with uh, 105 pounds if I'm not mistaken or 115 pounds I can't remember if those are fives or tens so she's doing really well she's getting a lot stronger and uh, hopefully if I can talk her into doing our meet November 7th she'll be up at CSA doing her first meet in over a year uh, for me, uh, still working on my strength uh, peaking phase. Um, try not to do too much of the peak. Um, that way I can still train through and get ready for Worlds. So it's mostly just a strength phase. But I do want to do well at the meet on October 10th. Um, so I was pretty beat up from squats on Wednesday. Typically I do my low bar squats on Friday. But Chris had a monolift at Bayside. So I decided to do my low bar um, which really kills my tendonitis in my left arm and my right arm. Um, so I wasn't able to control the weight as you'll see with a 425 and 435. You'll see as it gets about 4 inches away from my chest, I just have to drop it down because because uh, my elbows and my arms won't hold the weight anymore. I'm also doing self handouts. Didn't really feel too good on it, but it is what it is. Still had to get work in. I wanted 435 for doubles. And it felt good. I just wasn't able to stay tight, so it made it a hard, a hard lockout for me. Um, as you can see there, I don't ever go that fast down, but I just had to drop it. Uh, Des did some upper body stuff. She also did some front squats. So after bench pressing, she went to do some behind the neck, behind the neck presses, uh, just to build up her shoulders. We both talked about it. We feel like behind the neck, you can definitely feel it a little better as far as shoulder development goes um, when you do more of the. Uh, overhead presses in the front rack position you tend to lean a little bit get a little bit more um, upper pec involved and triceps and you really take away your shoulders uh, there you go seeing the struggle again with 435 for a single because um, it was self handout really just wanted a double on the day but all things considered uh, pretty happy with how everything's moving uh, 365 for some really long pauses uh, once I get the bar moving on the first rep, seems to be going pretty good after that. Here's Dez's front squats. Uh, she's coached by Tom DeLong. Uh, he's a USPA certified coach. He does a lot for USPA. So he's uh, he's helping Dez along the way. And uh, clearly it's showing off. You know, she has great technique, great form on pretty much all her lifts. And she's getting stronger and she's getting better. Um, end of the day for me with a close grip bench press. Uh, ended up doing roughly 15 working sets of all these uh, and then that was it for the day typically it can handle a lot more volume on bench while I'm getting ready for meat so it's not too big of a deal and like I said still trying to get ready for worlds more so than this meat so still gonna push the volume pretty high on bench days and uh, see how everything goes try to plan out my days a little better so my elbows aren't beat up uh, until next time guys take care